Hey Zesties, I'm Michelle Boyle and welcome or welcome back to my channel Zesty Girl. Today I am doing more massive decluttering. It's following on from yesterday's video. It's a long weekend and I've set myself the challenge of decluttering my entire home in two weeks. So today is a continuation of yesterday. Yesterday was really emotional because I had seven tubs, even a few more actually, from the garage that I needed to basically make a choice about. It was part of a business that I'd had for years and I had to make the hard decision whether to keep selling my items or to donate. And so it was a bit of an emotional process. I had a real breakthrough during that video and now today I am on fire. There's no stopping me today. So if you want to see this video of me decluttering super fast, then let's do this. Okay, next job is schoolwork this is my school assessments so we don't know whether we need these still or not sometimes they're like the older boys and tom can refer back to them so we just need to go through and see what's in here and get it cleaned up this is the children's assessments all sort of organized and there's some awards and things so i've got piles so i need to incorporate this into their personal boxes and i've kept some some samples of some work that is really great and this is all going in the rubbish all of this it's no longer needed so that's good so we've sorted the schoolwork down to this is all we need to keep for the future because I've got three that have left school now so this is really just for Tom moving forward now I've just brought down the individual bins this is Jessica's bin and I'm actually I thought they were a bit messier than this but they're very organized so things to keep for Jess dancing reports dancing awards school reports her overseas American stuff from which she was in America, living in America, uh, all of her certificates, all the programs from all the dance things that she's done, and down the bottom is school photos, I think. School photos. So that's her personal paper bin. So that's up to date. And this is Lucas's one here. He's the same, he's got, he's got, he's got a script from when he was doing a play, he's got his photographs, things for him to keep, yeah. all his awards as well, and school reports. This part is a huge bag full of recycling. So much paper in here. Okay, I have started to sort down here. Okay, I got rid of a travel container because I felt that it could be a smaller container. Thinking about the size up here. Okay, so what else have I done? I have taken Jessica's memory bin that she brought downstairs. It's, it's this size. So I'm sorting it out over there because she felt that she had too much. So she wanted my opinion on it. This is the family memory bin that I have kept that has all... Well, this is mine. It has, even has my things in it has all the memories in it so this was the we went through this in the video that i made two years ago when i was doing the garage got very emotional i remember but this is the twins <laughs> jerseys that their grandma knitted them and um cups their first cups but they love they used to love things with their names on them so this is jessica's tracksuit pants that she just loved oh because they had her name on them that's why on in lace and some lucas's things down there and this was another favorite of jessica's so there's just a couple of things there's not much her first little shoes and that's sam's favorite top so what i'm going to do is actually transfer the things from here into the children's memory bins and then they'll have one each so they'll have one full of their awards and school work uh, school photographs and things and then one that's full of clothes and ornaments and things that they wanted to keep from their childhood things that mean something to them so i'll do that and i'm sure over the time that they will look through and they'll declutter but at the moment i think one bin that's special to them is, is lovely okay so you can tell that i was from the 80s so we have some really good news today tom has just come downstairs and he's going mum i need to throw this t-shirt out it's too small for me but the good thing is since we decluttered the boys room every day Tom's wearing something different because he's got a manageable amount of t-shirts and he can look through easily and not just take the top couple and wear those. Every day he's wearing something different and finding out what he really loves. So the decluttering of the boys room has been really positive. Look what I found. Lucas has just graduated and it's his first year at school and his last year at school. And I know you're going to say that his hair looks a completely different color but really it's not as dark as um, or red as this color. It's just the lighting. 
Okay, I've been folding washing this morning and playing this game with Tom. We managed to get it down to three. So I don't even know what the game's called. Is it called Solitaire? I don't know if you can yeah. win it. Can you win it? Okay, so I've started to sort through. I did all this last night. I've just been in here because someone wanted something for Marketplace. So I've just gone into the bins that I've got for Marketplace. And this here is business, all my business paperwork from the business paperwork you have to keep for seven years. That is in there. So I just wanted to go through it quickly and repack it. And alongside business paperwork over here, which because I think that I can condense it down into something a bit smaller and hopefully get all the paperwork together, maybe into this big baby here. And then, yeah, so we're making progress. And this is from my client. So I, I want to, yes, I don't know what I'm going to do with that. I'm, I think I'm going to go through and pack it into bins and then put it over there with her other stuff. But here I've put things that are also going out this week. So yeah, so that's all going as well. I feel like if I tidy up, I feel like I'm making more progress. I think I'm trying to work on too many different things at once. So I'm just going to tidy everything up, go from there. Okay, so I've just found a container that has some school photos in it and some folders for each of the children of awards and things from preschool. So it's organized so I can just add it to their current containers. Remember I had my eye on a container of this size for my travel items. I just washed this out and we're good to go. Okay, I have just found a quarantine shoe box in the garage which is obviously from the a kitchen clear that I've done but it's not from my last one I don't I don't think it's from my last one I think it was from the one before just after we moved in here so it, this is easy so I started with these no don't need those lids to no don't need those I think I might have this there's the bottom of it with no lid so I'm glad I kept that when I did my last cleanup. This is what happens when you find things in random places. I don't need that. I do need this. And I do need some straws because in the last, well since I did the kitchen, everyone's been asking for straws. So I take back the straws. I'm going to take back the straws and find a home for them with the straw cleaner. And then my home. Tea strainer. I mean, you would just have one of these on hand just because. Oh, I don't know. It's one of those things. I'm not sure. Hubby loves his soup spoons. Okay, knives. Okay, I found this. I don't want this. That's why I put it in here because I have this one. And now I'm organized and this one has a home. I love this one so much. So if something happens to this one, I will get another one of these. I don't know what these are. And I'll put these in case these are a certain size. I'll put these in, I'll put these in the toolbox. Plastic can go out. These knives, I've put a rubber band around them. I've taken two because we're a bit low on knives and I'm just going to quarantine these a bit longer. I'm going to keep the tea strainer. We love my teapots. Okay, so here's my drawers that I organized uh, a while back and you can see that's still working really well. Someone said they have this and that they put it down here, which just makes such logical sense. So now I have more space. Thanks for that tip. I love my subscriber <laughs> tips. That they help me out so much. Okay, so I'm going to use put the tea strainer in here. That sort of seems like a good place for it. That whole box took me three minutes. Yay, I'm getting so much better at this. I'm getting so much faster. I don't think I want to keep the big fat one. Keep these smaller ones. This space down here, I'm actually going to quarantine the knives down here because everything else is working great. Okay, do you know what else I found? I found one of these. This is like a kitchen drawer, the top kitchen drawer that's been emptied into here maybe from the last house or I don't know in my current state it should be really quick to do it it's just I don't feel like doing it right now instead I'm going to I've put the children's bins back up here uh, in that one there is what is the travel so that's now the small travel items bin for each of the children with their keep items Christmas photos which is just another whole thing and I won't be doing this right now Christmas decorations and sports equipment all of that is making gorgeous sense so this here is coming together I'm just I'm either going to just put a photograph of it on marketplace saying free outside our house let people come and just take it 
so I'm just adding to it all the time but right now I'm about to do this job which is take the paperwork from there put it into the bigger tub and then sort this paperwork over here and I want to do it really quickly it shouldn't be a big it's not a big job okay let me get started by the way I look a bit of a state because it is like a very very hot day and I'm in a very very hot garage <laughs> so we don't care about that we just move on across a bit of an obstacle straight up this and I don't have time for this my mum used to work for me for many many years from New Zealand and ran my business from New Zealand for me so this is all her oh makes me emotional um this is a box of um, um okay let me qu quickly say this but, um this is a box of her paperwork her receipts and things that she's she's sent to me so I've got records but it's just the way she does things she's so organized and she just kept everything and everything's labeled and it's amazing she was amazing she was just amazing so uh, I'm not ready so I'm just going to basically whatever's in here I'm just going to pack I'm not even gonna look through it I'm just gonna pack it into this bigger one and um, I'll leave it for uh, for another time mum worked for me for many many years and um, she was incredible she was I mean part of the success of my business is because I had someone as amazing as her working with me okay <laughs> As I'm transferring um, these, I realize, I forget sometimes, but here's an example of my reselling. So I'm, I closed the business down yesterday, obviously, and people were confused as to why it was so difficult for me to let go of all those items, but this was my business and for many years. And I mean, for example, this whole, this is just, this is just a couple of months with <laughs> borders and each of these pieces of paper is double-sided of, of all the items that would go out um, so it's just it's just a month's worth and then there's just more and more and more piled in there but so that's the that's the I want because it's got it's private I don't want to show you too close and then that same month here is all the Shapewear, shapewear orders and then at the back there's some more um, private stuff but that's just one month it was a massive it was a massive business huge and that's why it's been so hard to let go because part of me goes why am I not still doing it and the reason is, is I just like helping women I just like coaching women and I like yeah, I'm just in a different phase. Look at it. <laughs> Look at it all. Wow. To... So I found some folders full of paper that I need to get rid of from way, 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 way back. So I'm going to recycle. I know someone's going to ask me, why are you recycling in plastic? I'm not. I'm just using it <laughs> as a container for now. Okay, so Tom is watching TV at school holidays, so he's just got back from the basketball court. So I've just asked him to go through and put these cards, just to sort through these cards for me. And um, yeah, I should say that he's going to sort into people, so and then the cards can go to the people that have the cards. Now you probably might say, well, why would you bother? Because the cards that the children make for us let me start again so each year so for my for my birthday and for Mother's Day sometimes for Christmas they would just make us a handwritten card like this and inside is their writing all these special words that they write and so that is so special so to be able to have that from each age I just want to get it sorted so I can keep that for myself and because it really is it's gonna be like a, a story of their childhood really I think more than anything so I'm just gonna get time to sort the cards into people and then the cards can go to the children and they can make up their minds about what to keep because there's probably a lot of birthday cards and things from friends and because I was so busy all the time with the children it was just put it in the birthday card box it's a bit like our sock box where all the socks go okay another two files to destroy I am on decluttering I've never decluttered so fast in my life. This is speed. But I did set myself a two week to declutter my whole life in two weeks, so that's what I'm doing. We're getting there. We are so getting there.
Okay, so within there was um, some personal credit cards and bank statements and that from and utility bills and things like that that I had obviously cleared out at some stage the filing cabinet years ago labeled everything and put them into folders just in case we needed them so these are so old now that I've just got rid of them all and yes big shredding job so that <laughs> that was a big job um, but that felt like Swedish death cleaning because some of this some of this information was going back to 2004 I think it was even earlier which is you know 20 years ago so that's a really good job done now this is my business things and because a lot of it's from New Zealand it needs to, I need to hang on to the records for 10 years so that's half and I'm just hoping that the other half of the records over there still will fit into here so I just have one box and then of course in a couple of years I can pretty much get rid of it all so I'm going to transfer that hopefully it will fit in here push it against the wall and we've created two empty containers woohoo I am on fire okay it all fit I'm listening to Dana I'm listening to Dana K White as my motivation because I'm about to do my wardrobe so I'm listening to her video on decluttering your wardrobe that's what's in the background uh, so this is all fit so this is all fit nicely and there's even some room for some current things that will come from my office so that's great all work is in one place Okay, so that's down here now, and nobody would want to lift that on their own. So now next up here, I want to put in the children's artwork. Now, what that looks like at the moment, these beautiful folders that I got for the children, and I've already, I started this years ago, and it's got like year four, and it's just pieces of artwork, not too many, or a piece, a good piece of schoolwork. And what I have already done is gone through in the past and collected before I threw out their school books each year, which I did, by the way, carry there year after year after year for the four children of school books until just before I moved from the last house, I cleared them all out. Um, and now I just have to add them to these beautiful books. So I, I did start this project years ago, but it was too overwhelming. There was too many books. So the school books are gone and I've put into folders for each child beautiful pieces from each year and so now it's a matter of just um, putting the books together however all the pieces have, have been in different places because of the state of the garage so now that I've got this big tub I can put everything hopefully together and this will be a fabulous project for me to do knowing that it's at the end of it when you've got children at primary school age, for example, I had four children at primary school, you know, they bring home a lot of schoolwork, they bring home a lot of things to work through. You're busy enough with activities and school activities and their toys and all the things that children of that age happen with children of that age, all their gear, we had ballet, we had karate, we had soccer, we had all sorts of music, piano. So you're dealing with all the stuff all the time. So when the school books came home at the end of the year, I just threw them in a tub that said, 2000 and whatever so that was a massive job it took me oh, it took me oh, maybe half a day before I moved here so now I'm really excited to get it together to have it as one last project as a memory for the children of their beautiful pieces of school some would say that you know you could just photograph and have it as a um, digital memory and that's probably a really good idea Digital for me just doesn't really work. So if the children then want to create a digital version of it, then that's up to them. I was just going to Skype about another free container, but... Okay, I thought that was too good to be true, considering the children have had preschool right up to year 12. All four of them, well not all four of them, Tom's still not quite finished. And yes, I thought that was a bit too good to be true, just one container, considering I haven't... Oops, I haven't sorted it. Oh, I just stood on something. Uh, no, there's that box that I've just found and another box over there in the corner. So I'm changing strategy. I'm going to take out of this box and I'm going to take the eBay out of these two containers, try and fit the eBaying into this container and then make these three containers for the schoolwork project. Just that just feels better for my brain because I want to be able to look at this garage and go, do you know what? That is all what it is. I know what it is. I know why it's here. It's here for a reason. Yes. And this is going to be a great project. It's going to be a really, it's a project that I'm really looking forward to. So, and it's just one project, which is good. Okay. So I'm going to do that now and we'll see how that turns out. I was just trying to get over there in the corner and see what things were. 
And if you've watched my videos before, you know that these are three boxes of my husband's CDs. I'm so hot and sweaty, but let's go. Let's go. Let's go, let's go. Whew. Right. Okay, thankfully it only ended up being two, so that container there and that container up there. And what I noticed from this container, not this one so much because that's been gone through, but this container still has books in it that are still in their entire form. So this is going to be really quick and easy to reduce that by, I don't know, three quarters very, very quickly. Which will just leave me with this, which is nice. And the folders are in there. So, I'm, I mean, I would love to just get onto this project now, but I can't because... I want to get my whole home decluttered in two weeks. So I'm just going to leave that as a project, two bins. I'm okay with that right, right now. And yeah, we'll move on. Okay, and we're making definite progress now. So yeah, I just need to sort through, I just need to sort through that one down there. And this is going to be gifted with a bunch of other things that are on the other side of the room. Okay, I ran out of charge and I also had to go and do a whole lot of work because today, even though it's holiday, it's a work day. And yes, so this is what I've achieved. And every time I come down here, I go, wow, <laughs> wow. But I'm not finished yet, but I'm almost finished. And I'm going to keep going. It's really late. I think it's half past eight. And I'll just show you. This this is the time when you're grateful for freezer meals. I got a freezer meal out this morning thinking I'm not going to have time to cook. I cooked some rice before. They've all just helped themselves. So, whew, love a... I can't speak, I'm so tired. Love a freezer meal. Okay. Okay, so I just want to keep going until it makes some sense this side to me because I know I'm really close to finishing and it's just feeling awesome. I've just actually done the winter jackets up into this wardrobe here. Show you. And there, and books are here, but I'm probably going to do books tomorrow. I'm going to do books as the final thing, and I'm going to probably watch some decluttering videos on getting rid of books. There's books down here. My my older son just called me up because he's the only one that hasn't done his room, so he's just been through and he's got rid of so much. So upstairs in the hallway is well. Three piles, rubbish, huge pile of rubbish, which is just clothes that have, he's just loved to, to death, basically. And then there's another big pile, which is clothes that he didn't like or, you know, he doesn't want any longer. So it's such a concise uh, thing now. Um, there's just not much left. This is the biggest extremist garage makeover, baby. Okay, let's keep going. This is a massive garage. It's huge. Imagine getting the car in here. Okay, so this is where we ended up at the end of the night. This really is not much left to go. This was the hard part. So I'm so happy with this. Let me show you how many bags we've got to donate now. Well, we've got this, as we've discussed. Recycling. And I've been adding pink bags, as you can probably tell. And that there is the huge bag that is going to my friend. Those are the items that the boys are donating, so I'll deal with that next. Still the reality is this, and I've added to it today, more and more bins have been emptied. I cannot believe how far I've come on this journey and I'm so excited, but I'm not stopping yet. I'm gonna continue on. So thanks for watching, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please subscribe to my channel, I'd love to have you here. I look forward to seeing you on the next video. See ya, bye.